Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we create a Laravel 6 application with uh, Tailwind CSS on the front end. So we're not going to install Bootstrap as uh, usually. We will install Tailwind CSS instead and we will use it in our application. Please subscribe if you haven't done it yet and leave me a like if this video helped to you. Right, okay, so let's just jump into it. As always, let's create a new Laravel application. Open up a command line with git bash. Let's make it bigger. So Laravel new and you can call your application whatever you want. I'm going to call it Tailwind CSS app. It will take a couple of minutes. Like three, four minutes. Right, so Laravel application has been created and now I would like to add the authentication scaffolding as well and uh, Vue.js as well to our to my application. So we need to go to laravel.com, documentation, in the sidebar menu you need to find front-end, front-end scaffolding and first of all we need to pull in Laravel new UI component. So composer require Laravel slash UI dash dash dev. Copy it, go back uh, to the terminal. But before we run this command, we need to go inside into our new uh, Laravel applications folder. So CD Tailwind CSS app. That's how I called my application. So we are inside this folder now and we need to run. Um, sorry, I need to delete this and copy it again. Paste. So composer require Laravel slash UI dash dash dev. Hit enter and it will pull in a Laravel UI component. Okay, that's pulled in. So as a second step, you have two choices. Uh, of course, you can uh, install just the basic scaffolding, so it would pull in only Vue.js or React, or you can pull in Vue.js and create the authentication scaffolding as well, so you get the login and register page as well. So I will choose the second option because I want the login and register page as well. So PHP artisan UI view dash dash out. Go back to the terminal, paste it, hit enter. And as you can see, it Vue.js scaffolding installed and authentication scaffolding generated as well. Okay, so that's it. Next step would be npm install. But when we run this command, Vue.js out, it uh, pulled in uh, Bootstrap into our application. It hasn't been installed, but it's uh, been pulled in as a dependency. So we need to delete it before we run npm. So open up your code editor. I use VS Code. Open your project folder. Mine is inside YouTube. And as you can see, Tailwind CSS app. Add. And if we go down to package.json, you can see we have bootstrap here as a dev dependency. Let's delete this line. Let's save it. And now go to tailwindcss.com scroll down uh, and you can see installation and we will install through npm so copy this line and paste it inside your terminal hit enter and it should install it should pull in a tailwind css as a dependency Yeah, that's done. If we go back to VS Code, you can see where we deleted Bootstrap. 
We got a new dependency uh, called Tailwind CSS. Let's uh, save it and close this up. Okay, and if we scroll down, we can see we need to import the Tailwind uh, CSS files. So use this for Laravel. Copy all the free lines. Go back to your code editor and inside the resources folder, you can find uh, SAS folder and app.sas. You need to delete all of these because we don't need the uh, Google fonts, I don't need the variables, and of course we don't want to bootstrap get pulled in as we never gonna install it. So paste it here, save it. We can delete uh, this variable dot CSS. We're not going to use it. And also you need to go to resources JS and uh, you got two J JS file here, app.js and bootstrap.js. If you go inside the app.js you can see it's required bootstrap but this bootstrap is pointing to this bootstrap.js file uh, so it's not the bootstrap frontend uh, framework uh, related. So we need to go to bootstrap.js and you can see require bootstrap, which is the front-end framework bootstrap.js file. So we need to delete it. Let's save it and close these. Okay, now we can run npm install. So go back to terminal, npm install. It will take a couple of minutes. Okay, so it's installed our dependencies. We need to modify some files again. So first of all, we will need to create this tailwind, uh, tailwind.config.js file. So copy this line, go back to terminal, paste, enter. As you can see, it has been created. And we need to process our Tailwind CSS uh, while we're using uh, Laravel. So just scroll down, scroll down and you will find uh, Laravel mix. The first option use less, but we use SAS in our application. Copy the first line, go back to the code editor and go down at the very bottom, bottom you will see webpack.mix.js. Hit enter, paste it, don't forget the semicolon. Right, go back to tailwindcss.com and we need to copy everything after the mix. So even the dot has to be included as well. Select everything, copy, go back to code editor and we need to select this line and paste the new, uh, the new lines. Okay, and as you can see, we need to uh, specify the path for this tailwind.config.js, uh, what we just created, and this tailwind.config.js file is in our root folder, as you can see, I got this here. So all, all I have to do is delete these and leave the dot and the slash. Okay, let's save it. And if we done everything correctly, then I can run now npm run dev or npm run watch. So it will comply our CSS files. 
npm run watch As you can see, it runs everything correctly. 100% is done. Now we can uh, run our server to see what we have. So go inside your application, right click, git bash here. Let's make it bigger. And I will use PHP artisan serve. So it uh, boots up a, a server on this uh, address. So go back to browser and let's open it. And as you can see, we have the brand new Laravel application with login and register. Of course, if you click on register or login, uh, you can't see any styling because it's using uh, bootstrap classes but we haven't installed Bootstrap, we got a Tailwind CSS. And let's just test out if it works. So go back to your editor, let's close these. And if we go to resources, views, we can see this home.blade.php. This is what you see here. Let's uh, delete everything from this folder. And we would like to extend app.blade.php. So our JS file and CSS file all the time is in our application. Uh, we need to type in at extends, uh, it's created to at and we would like to extend layouts which is points to this folder layouts dot and we would like to extend this app.blade.php so all we need to do is app and inside this app uh, blade.php we would like to see our content in uh, into this section so we need to create a new section here right let's save it and if everything is correct, we can't see anything if we refresh. Except this uh, menu on the top, because it's in included uh, inside this app.blade.php. Here is our navigation. So that's why we see uh, those, uh, those uh, links. Okay, let's just create something uh, simple. Let's create a box, for example. So we are using uh, Tailwind CSS uh, classes now. And don't forget, we need a width as well with 24 and let's make its background tail color so bg dash tail 400 and if we don't everything correctly then we will see a box with tail background color Uh, it's because 
we would like to show our content in this content field. So the section has to be content. So if I save it again and hit refresh, sure enough, we got the tail background color, the box. And there is one more thing to mention. If you check our public folder and the CSS folder, we got the app.css, which is 855 kilobyte. Uh, if you would run npm run production, then it would reduce the file size with like 200 kilobytes or so, but it still would be about 600 kilobytes. So we need to use one more uh, component, which is a lot of well, tailwind. Perch CSS. So you will see the very first uh, GitHub link. All we need to do install it through uh, npm. So copy this line. Go back to your project main folder. Open up a new command line. Let's make it bigger. Paste. So npm install laravel dash mix dot purge css dash dash save dash dev. Hit enter. It will pull in this package into our application. Right, that's done. So we need this requires Laravel dash mix dot dash per CSS. Copy this line, go back to the text editor. Go to webpack.mix.js, hit enter, and the third line has to be this require laravel mix dot dash per CSS. And we also need one more bit of this code, which is this dot purge CSS function. Copy it. And we need to paste just here at the end. Let's save it. And if we go back to our terminal, let's stop this npm run watch. So I just stop this command and I'm running npm run prod, which means production. Hit enter and see our uh, CSS file. So it was 855 kilobytes. And hopefully if it runs, it will be reduced. Okay, that has been run successfully and as you can see from 855 kilobytes we went down to 3 kilobytes which is a huge difference uh, in terms of page load so you will work with npm run watch while you doing your development and when you're ready with your application and you're ready to deploy then run npm run prod or production and it will reduce your file size it will use only the necessary CSS inside your app.css file. Okay, I uh, hope this video helped you. Thanks for watching and see you soon.